You know, let me just briefly talk to men, if I would. There's going to be two things that will take you down and your family down, and that's passivity, doing nothing, and that's anger. You will have to fight one of those two. You're either passive and accomplishing nothing and leading no one, or you're an angry tyrant at home dominating. And men, we are called to lead our families. We are called to guard them. We are called to die for them if necessary. And to be quite honest with you, I'm getting tired of weak, passive men who do nothing or angry tyrants who rule their house with a rod of iron. We are the reason that the nation is in the condition it is, and we are. Men, it falls directly upon our shoulders. Stop blaming God and the government. We are the abomination that is a stench in the nostrils of a righteous, holy, pure God. It rests squarely upon our shoulders. And you might say, man, Shane, you're being a little bit hard. Well, I was going to read this next weekend, and I might do it then, but let me just, let me have you come into my world for one second tonight, and let me just share with you some of the emails I get, and you tell me if that's too hard. Let me read what this wife and this mom wrote. I won't watch my kids be physically abused anymore. I won't listen to my girls be called vile, vulgar names. I won't have things smashed or broken in the house. I won't get into a vehicle and listen to him rage. No more spending time together by me scrapbooking and him looking at pornography just a few feet away on the computer. I refuse to stay at home and not attend church because I feel guilty for leaving him alone. I will not worship quietly or secretly again. I never believed in divorce, so I just keep on trying and trying to be more perfect. I can no longer bear it. I'm not dying inside. I have died. Listen, folks, that's the condition of our nation. This man does not need to be coddled and comforted. He needs to be challenged and he needs to be convicted. Some of you men in this room, anger is a problem and you need to repent of it tonight or it will destroy you and it will destroy your family. We've got little kids saying, Daddy, show me how to be a man. And little girls saying, Daddy, show me, hold me. Daddy, I want you to be there. But because of anger and controlling and dominance, it's not happening. You are breaking the spirit of your family and it needs to end tonight. Yeah, this is a hard message and it's time to bring back the hard messages to be quite honest with you. We've been coddling and comforting too long. It's time to start challenging and convicting. Let the Word of God fall and let the Word of God change the heart. The only hope for you is repentance. To say, I was wrong. I've been wrong. Lord, will you forgive me? Go to your spouse. Go to your children. Say, I've been wrong. Will you forgive me? And make and take that initial step. Because that's what's destroying our family, our nation as well. Men are not leading at home. I see it all the time. This is just one example of many. Either anger or passivity. He doesn't lead. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't pray. It's a woman who has to initiate Bible study. She has to initiate church. She has to initiate anything spiritually. So either we're dead or we're abusive. And it's time to start finding, finding that middle ground. And it begins with repentance. It begins like Nofosel with a broken heart crying out to God and saying, Lord, would you change me tonight?